I mean, it must be, obviously. But there was a dragonfly, so we like kept the door open to try to get the dragonfly out. But now the house is so cold, I'm like, I refuse to run the heat. I live in Florida. It's not that cold. I'm complaining about the cold, and some of you are literally in negative degrees. When I say cold, it is 67 degrees inside my house. <laughs> Here, wanna help me? Ooh, thank you. Believe it or not, this was cleared last night. Just last night. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Folded towels underneath. Okay, that's just the last little laundry I did last night. Um, I need to throw more laundry in because that is my life. I should have done this earlier today, but I just didn't. And now I'm making it a priority. Eleanor has a dance class, uh, two of them. They're back to back because we try to like stack them so we don't have to like drive, 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 drive. And it actually is just chaos because we still do have to drive, drive, drive because we have a lot of kids. But anyway, for her, it's easier because she's in the same spot. It doesn't even matter. What matters is that we're hanging out together and I'm gonna try to get as much stuff done in that two hour time frame as I can. And I'm sure it will roll over until like nightfall too. I mean, listen, let's be real. Once the kids get home from school and it's like dinner and then bedtime routine, bath and all of that stuff, I don't go to, we don't go to bed until like real late. I've been seeing those things on Instagram where it's like, oh, a, a parent's day ends at like 8.30. I'm like, you get time at 8.30, your kids go to bed. <laughs> Maybe if you have little ones, but then I have older ones who stay up much later. Obviously it was my choice to have a lot of children. So anyway, hey, thanks for getting the lint out. I don't know what I'm saying, short story long. I need to throw this load in because I meant to do it earlier today and just didn't get to it. I've just been tired. I went to the gym this morning. I thought I was like pumped and ready this morning. I thought I have my stuff together. The kids had everything they needed in their backpacks ready to go. And I was thinking that I was having my life together. Look at me now. I don't know why I ever have those thoughts. It's never together. But we were going through our schedules, making sure everything was good. And then, you know, all every single one of the kids has like seven things going on. And then field trips and oh, make sure you bring a white shirt and label it because we're gonna be making something special. And don't forget to come tomorrow to volunteer and you know, all this stuff. So we're trying to sort things. And this morning I felt like, you know what? It's under control. And then I came home from the gym and I was so tired. I think I was just hungry. I mean, I ate, obviously. <laughs> Probably more than I should have. And maybe I worked out too hard. I don't know. I'm still trying to get in the rhythm of things and it's just harder than it seems. What do they say it takes like 21 days to make a habit? I'm on day like, I don't know, eight. It just hasn't formed yet. But I'm working on it and I am gonna make dinner Tonight is going to be something super simple, but it's like, you know, macro friendly is supposed to be on the healthier side, but still delicious and family friendly. That's how I roll, you know. Oh, so anyway, I don't think I finished my thought, but like Eleanor is at dance, Avelina has a soccer game, Wentworth had something after school, so Alex picked him up before the soccer game. So I'm only home with the two little ones right now, so that's why I'm trying to get like as much done as I can while I have just a moment to breathe. And also I should have done laundry a while ago. I don't know who this belongs to. So are you surviving or thriving? I thought after the holidays I would be thriving, but I'm not. I think, <laughs> and I keep thinking this in my head, but after the addition is done, I'm like, it's gonna be great. I say that, but once the addition done, I think it's just gonna be chaos. Still, I don't, I think maybe when he turns five, that's when the chaos kind of simmers down. I got four more years. High five. Yeah. Ah. High five. Yeah. Ah. High five. Good boy. <laughs> so I was feeling bad about my thin blood and complaining about how cold it is here in Florida. When we wake up, it's like, I don't know, 45 degrees, something around there. And it's been, you know, chilly for the past couple of weeks. So for Florida, that's pretty cold. And I felt a lot better when I saw someone on Instagram saying how Florida cold is not the same as other cold. She's like, I'm from Chicago. I'm used to negative degrees. I can't handle this Florida winter. Okay, so I'm not 
that big of a crybaby because it, it's just like Florida summers are different. I'm singing the night Chicago died. It's fine. I cons- ironically, not consequently, she, the lady, I think who was talking about it, she was from Chicago. I want to say, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so summers are different. It's the humidity. It's just the air here. It just hits you it's different. Okay. So cold is cold and it's fine. And I didn't turn on the heat. I'm like, we can live with a couple sweaters on. We'll be good to go. So fun story. Alex and I went years without running our AC or heat, even when we lived in a snowy climate. Uh, All in efforts to save money (laughs) for a future house. So it worked out. We sacrificed a lot. Anyway, laundry, laundry. All right, well, that's done. I'm trying to figure out what I want to share with you. I shared some Valentine's Day stuff in like a recent video and I wanted to share more with you. Not sure what is all over this. It's either nail polish or the other night for family dinner. My sister-in-law made like healthy sour patch kids where it's like a grape, frozen grape, covered in like sugar-free jello. It was sour. The kids loved them, but it was also extremely messy. So it's either that or um, nail polish on Anyway, I'm trying to get my water in. I definitely haven't hydrated enough today, so if you haven't either, cheers, hydrate, it purifies the soul and stuff. I'm debating what I wanna share with you today or if I just wanna get as much stuff done for in two hours, which seems like a long time, but it's not at all. It goes by like that. I'm either gonna clean the pantry, but I did get some like Valentine's Day stuff and maybe I'll share that next time when I'm not, when I have more time. I'll never have more. I'm just gonna... Okay. All right, well, here we go in my pantry. Uh, Now you can understand why I need to do some stuff in here. It's just piled with a bunch of stuff. I kind of meal planned yesterday. And by kind of, I mean, I didn't make a grocery list, but I planned out like, oh, some of the meals that I can throw together with some ingredients that I already have, because clearly I have a lot happening in here. But there's also a ton of empty boxes just from the holidays that I haven't gotten to like this. Like this is an empty bag. I could have thrown this away when I first saw it, but I didn't. So today's the day I'm going to, ooh, these are so good. I know, is this what you're trying to reach? Dark chocolate covered espresso cups. Those are from mama. Mm-hmm. I do want to organize in here and I did buy some things to do that, but that will be for another day. Today is just tidy up, tidy up my life. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it kind of smells like potatoes in here, like rotten potatoes, mostly because I have some rotten potatoes in here. Little did I know just how rotten those potatoes were. I see people, and listen, I told you it's been pretty chilly here in Florida, so it's not like the house has been super hot or humid. Well, I guess it's always humid. I don't know. It's inside. I digress. People say, store your potatoes and onions in a cool, dark place, a cool, dry place. I guess that's the kicker, dry place. I mean, I feel like my pantry is pretty dry. How much dry can I get? It's not in the garage or anything. So normally I store them in the fridge, in the outside fridge, because one, when you store onions in the fridge and you go to cut them, they are less likely to like make you tear up. At least that's what I've experienced. I pulled these out and I thought this was the round potato. It's not. Just wait. You'll see the sloshiness. But these are, like, they're not even that old. I feel like in the pantry, these potatoes are growing more roots than the potatoes that I actually planted in my garden. I'm using air quotes. I got, like, potato sacks to grow some potatoes, which I'll show you the progress on that in a future uh, video. Don't, Don't worry. I got some plans. Okay, we'll see if I actually ever film it. Hopefully I get potatoes. I mean, they're bound to grow eventually, maybe. Who knows? So... Onions in a cool, dry place, I put them in the fridge. And then potatoes, I normally store those in the fridge too because when I store them here, I feel like I bought these after the holidays even or maybe just before. What's the last thing I made with potatoes? I don't know. I can't remember. I feel like after the holidays, right? Who knows? It doesn't... Well, it kind of matters because how long have they been in here? They're already rooting one and they're like rotting. Rooting and rotting. Disgusting. So I used what I could. Sweet potatoes... Even one of the sweet potatoes I had was old. So I'm going to have to go back to my old ways of doing things and storing them in the fridge because they go bad much less when I store them in the fridge. Even though people are like, don't store it in the fridge. I don't care. That's what works for me. And that's how I'm going to live my life. Okay. Rihanna style. You live your life and that you do what works for you. So I'm going through these bins and some of the stuff is so old. Some of the stuff 
is like, you know, it's a huge bag. It has like one thing in it. So I just took the one thing out. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to get rid of the empty boxes and the empty bins. I think I emptied the apple sauces all in the basket. So that was like a huge stack of like apple sauces and pumpkin and whatever, all the kinds of pouches that we have, the vegetable pouches or fruit, veg, whatever they are. So I emptied all of those in the bin and that cleared up a lot of space. <laughs> Wolfgang is such a little punk. <laughs> like look at him on the edge of that pan. <laughs> are you joking? Oh, I love it so much. He's such a little rascal. So that pan, by the way, I got it because I'm about to make some chicken stock. I actually accidentally, well, not accidentally, I bought one pan. It was on clearance and I thought, oh, this is great. And then I found an amazing deal at the thrift store on like this really, really high quality pot. I said pan, but you know what I meant, pot. And I had, I just had to get it. I was like, this is like a $200 pot for basically nothing in comparison. So I did snag it. So now I have two really nice stock pots and I figured... Well, maybe I can get two going at once. And then I realized I want to try to can some stuff. And you can can some stuff in the Instant Pot, but only a specific type of Instant Pot. I forgot the type now, but I tried to look for it secondhand. I don't want to buy it brand new. It's just ridiculous because I have my Instant Pot, but I essentially just use it as a glorified rice cooker. And I know I could get like the proper canning equipment to just like a canning pot or whatever, but I don't know. I, I think... It's fine. If I just have one Instant Pot and I can use it as a rice cooker and a canner, I feel like that's good enough, but I digress. I'm just organizing my life and I'm not even organizing. Okay, so I'll reel that back in real quick. And I'm just decluttering, I guess. Just getting rid of the junk. Like that Crostini box full of those teeny tiny little, what are those called? Like pieces of crusty bread. That's a garlic Parmesan or something. So good, but you know what was even better? The, they're both from Costco, but one type that I got from Costco I put out during the holidays and it was everything but the bagel seasoning. Oh my gosh, I could cry. It was so delicious. That's why they're all gone and I still have some of these left. Plus, I'm like trying not to eat a ton of carbs lately. I mean, I'm still eating plenty of carbs, but just not mindlessly like, oh, let me get the box of crustinis, <laughs> you know? So... That's why those are still there. So next time we have some kind of cheese board or whatever, I'll put those out. And it's in a bag and it's not going to expire anytime soon. Oh, and I'm trying to, so the hot cocoa, always a good time to stock, <laughs> stock up when it's the holiday season because they always go on sale. Buy one, get one free. You'll never find that good of a deal any other time. Well, maybe you do, but I don't notice it because I don't really do hot cocoa that much. Speaking of hot cocoa, you saw my last video that I did like the chocolate collagen. Still have yet to try it, but um, I feel like that's like a healthier option if you're trying to do hot cocoa. But you know, sometimes you just want to do a hot cocoa bar and a hot cocoa crock pot or whatever. So this is typically what I use when I do a hot cocoa crock pot is just the Swiss Miss and then heavy cream and then water. And so I got a bunch of those Swiss Miss containers. And so I just dumped them and decanted them, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it does save space. And I do have that huge can designated for hot cocoa, which I was out of. So I'm just replenishing my stash and getting rid of excess packaging and stuff like that. So it does save some space, but like, I mean, it depends what it is. You know what I mean? For me anyway, I like someone will look in my pantry and say, oh my gosh, it's so organized. No, it's all an illusion. It's just everything shoved into baskets. Like, yes, I have cracker basket and um, what is it? Like a chip basket, but inside, oh, here's the magic. Here's the potatoes. Inside the baskets, it's a big old mess. What is she saying, Clueless? It's like a uh, Monet. From far away, it looks nice, but up close, it's a big old mess, you know? So yes, that's how rotten those potatoes were. They were leaking out of the bag. And I'll show you the, did I already show you the lid? No, the lid's coming up. Yeah, they were leaking on top of this lid. So disgusting. Thankfully, it was confined. Oh, the baby just won't come. All right, it's been quite a while. I don't remember what I was talking about. I'm sure it was, had something to do with potatoes. Anyway, yeah, it was pretty gross. And surprisingly, once I got them out of the pantry is when you could really smell it even more. Alex came home, I mean, maybe because I just put them out in the kitchen area before they made their final destination to the garbage. But 
Alex came home and he was like, oh my gosh, what's that smell? <laughs> I was like, that's been living in the pantry for a while. To be fair, he doesn't really come in the pantry that often. Really. Anyway, what's for dinner tonight? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out as we speak. I mean, I know what I'm making this day because it already passed, but here is the final reveal. Here's a little before and after shot for you. Ooh, la 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 la. Feels so nice, Danity Kane style. It feels so much better in here. Uh, Wentworth just came home and he said, did you restock? <laughs> I said, no, I just tidied up. So that's nice. I don't know if you can tell much of a difference, but it feels a little bigger, a little more floor space. I'm gonna throw dinner together real quick. I just preheated the oven. It's called, I forgot, cornflake chicken or something. It's really simple. If you have the cornflake cereal, you just crunch it up. But my aunt, I, ha I can't find these at my local grocery store, so my aunt gifted me <laughs> some cornflake crumbs because that's what life is all about. And she uses this in her meatloaf. It's like her secret ingredient in her meatloaf. I guess it's no secret anymore. My secret is your secret and we're all family here. That's the secret family recipe right there. For meatloaf, instead of breadcrumbs, use these. I don't know, maybe saltier, maybe crunchier. That's, every that's why everyone loves her meatloaf. But for this recipe, I'm just doing something really simple. Chicken, broccoli, and sweet potatoes in the oven, like a sheet pan kind of meal. I might do two because I have a lot of chicken and I also have a lot of broccoli and I also don't know where my really large pan is. I know where my sheet pan is, but I'm looking for my pan. So for the chicken, you need a little like station, if you will, just a couple of dips and drips. So the liquid, instead of using like butter or oil, ranch, I'm sure you could try to find something with better macros, but I'm just using what I have on hand because I don't want to go grocery shopping just yet. So like, I don't know, a cup of that. And then it doesn't get any simpler than this. Just grab the corn flake crumbs. It might look nicer with all the like crunchy bits and stuff, but it's... I'm going to season that up. It literally, I got a little bit too close to it. Literally is just the cereal. It smells like cereal. And so I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. I'm not sure if she seasons it or what she seasons it with, but I'm gonna throw some Italian. Oh, the day has come. <laughs> oh, my Italian seasoning. Okay, well, I don't feel like replenishing that right now, so I'm gonna grab some herbs de Provence to fancy this up. And then maybe some garlic powder too. That's how I live my life. Mix this together. So good, you guys. My kids said it was bussin'. All right, so you know that's when you got a good dinner happening. And it's so simple. And I used to make meals like this all the time. Not that my meals now aren't simple, but I'm, I mean like the sheet pan meal where it's a protein, most of the time chicken, and you don't even have to do anything special to it. Like even this is elevated, I feel like. Even if you just throw some chicken and season it and then throw it into the oven with um, potatoes and then a vegetable on this, like a starch and then a vegetable. So I like to do either green beans or broccoli and then throw it into the oven all at the same time. So they cook all at once about 400, 425 degrees for around 20 minutes or so until everything is nice and crispy. But it's been a while since I did that and it's just so simple and it used to be my go-to. So I need to get back to just doing simple meals like this. Also pasta, I made pasta last night which isn't my favorite because, I don't know, it's just not. But I always make sure to pair it with a vegetable and a protein too. And I had pesto in the fridge, so that's another dinner idea. Like, so simple. Pasta, cook it, add some pesto sauce to it. Um, I had cooked chicken already in my freezer, so I just brought that out. And then broccoli in my freezer. I'm trying to go through my freezer a little bit. Uh, before I go to Costco. It's been a few days, so I think I can make it the rest of the week before I do a big grocery shopping trip, but I definitely didn't want to do a grocery shopping trip before I cleaned out my fridge, which I did a few days before I filmed this video, and then my pantry I did obviously while I filmed this video, so I didn't want to go grocery shopping and just add on to the chaos and destruction. I, need, I knew I needed to tidy it up before then, uh, because whenever I go to Costco, it's just always... I don't, it's like an entire day ordeal, you know, meal planning and then going and then putting everything away. And then it's just whatever. It's grocery shopping day, you know? So Wentworth is helping me out dinner. My kids are always very eager to help out, which is awesome, especially when it comes to food. And they love broccoli. Like 
baked broccoli or however you want to oven cooked broccoli is one of their favorites. They're, they like get excited. Oh, we're having broccoli. I'm like, yeah, we're having broccoli. There was a few weeks where we were out of it. And I don't know what I was making for a vegetable, but not broccoli. So it's their favorite. And then obviously the starches, sweet potato are my kids' favorite too. And I just don't know why I don't cook them more often. I need to grab a bag of sweet potatoes next time I go because I'm completely out of them now. And I was on the Yukon Gold Kick for a while because it was the holidays and mashed potatoes were a thing. And my kids love mashed potatoes. And the Yukon Gold mashed potatoes are actually superior. I don't know why it took me so long to actually make mashed potatoes. I always made them with russet potatoes because that's how I grew up making them. Not I grew up making them, but my family grew up making them that way. So, you know, just family traditions and all that good stuff. And then we have access to the internet, which tells us a million things that we could be doing better. And you're like, well, is it better than what I've been raised on? Sometimes the answer is yes. And Yukon Gold Potatoes is definitely one of those occasions so dinner is cooking and while dinner is cooking, that's why one of I love sheet pan meals or even crock pot meals or whatever. While it's cooking for 20, 25, 30 minutes, you have time. Well, sometimes um, Alex actually took the kids to their after school activities. And so he brought the baby. So I had a little bit of time to uninterruptedly clean the kitchen, which doesn't always happen, but it's always such a joy, <laughs> right? You you think like little things like that, like, oh, I'm, I'm able to do this uninterrupted, which is a pleasure and uh, definitely a luxury, I guess, if you will, if you're in that season of life, you know? So I took advantage of that time that I had to really tidy up the kitchen. My dishwasher was full, so I hand washed some dishes and then I'm putting them away. And you know what? On some of the lunch containers, I recently got from uh, uh, Etsy. I want to say Etsy, but no, I got them off of, what's that site? Amazon. <laughs> like every other site. eBay. I'm like, I don't even shop on eBay. Why am I thinking about eBay? So I got off Amazon the labels that you can put on lunch containers, on clothes, on, you know, whatever you want. And um, they're so cute. So at the beginning of the school year, I ordered a whole sheet off of Etsy. Well, it wasn't enough. I thought it would be plenty, but it wasn't even close to anything near what I need. I don't know if there was 25 or 50 on there, but what, however many it was, it wasn't enough. And I just got our, the kids' last names. And so, well, my last name too. <laughs> I just got our last name on it. So then it's universal. I could use it for everything. But Meredith, she's in a younger grade. So, you know, sometimes things get misplaced there. So I got a sheet or a couple of sheets with her for full first and last name. And then I got a sheet of just the last names with like, you can pick different emojis. So it's super fun. So I, I got some really cute emojis on there. So while I was cleaning the dishes, I noticed, Hey, they're staying on because that's the true test. Like, is this actually going to stay on? And throughout all of the things that I throw in the dishwasher through the beginning of the year to now. So I guess, I don't know, half a year it's done pretty well. Nothing has fallen off, so that's good. I put them on the water bottles too because those things fly off the shelf. You know what? I should get our phone number and put them on the water bottle because we leave them at parks or wherever the heck. And like, yeah, they know our name. Unless it's at school, they don't know who we actually are. So I'm going to have to start doing that. That's actually a really good idea so they can call us. But who's going to call someone over a water bottle? You know what I mean? I don't know. Food for thought, I guess. <laughs> All right, I'm glad I got those dishes done before dinner. That's the beauty of having like a sheet pan meal. You just throw it in the oven and then while it's cooking, you can kind of tidy up and then there'll be another mess to clean up after we eat. But at least that's good. And uh, good news to report, six days on these nails, if you're keeping up with my gel nail polish journey, it's not a real thing. But um, I, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Six days, chip free. And I feel like I could make them last longer if I know, like they just start peeling and I'm really hard on my nails. Like I don't wear gloves when I do dishes or whatever, but anyway, I'm happy about it. I'm like, why? I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. And last night, this morning, I can't remember when I loaded that. I think this morning, I don't question mark, who the heck knows that the days are like Groundhog's Day. They just repeat over and over again. And I'm like, what? same thing, new day, you know? So I loaded the dishwasher, but I never pressed start. <laughs> So when I went to unload it earlier, that's my dilemma, that's my life, whoops. 
I feel like I did press it, but sometimes it doesn't go because if it's open for too long and you press it, it doesn't like compute. You have to like close it and then open it and then press start and then press power or whatever power start. It doesn't really matter. But dinner's almost done, so that's good. I feel good that I got the pantry done. I'm like, what else can I get done? Eleanor's almost home, so you can be pretty productive in the span of two hours, even with little ones tugging at your feet. That's fun. Meredith, for the most part, was playing with like her little doctor kit. We had to go to the store earlier today because she is needing like a ballet outfit and a tap outfit and shoes and all that stuff. So got that from her. I went to Once Upon a Child because obviously you get a better price. It's gently used stuff. It's like a thrift shop for kids and they love it when we go because she got like this doctor kit and it's like pretty amazing. The kids got a a whole bag of nail polish the other day when we were at the thrift store. Um, but this was like the doctor kit that she got. It's pretty cool. And then that's food for the chickens. But I just Googled and apparently you're not supposed to feed chickens potatoes. So unless they're cooked, am I going to cook those to feed them? I don't know. I'm sorry. You have to look at this. I guess I should have got dressed or something for you. <laughs> it's okay. We're besties. Figured out what I'm missing. I'm going to throw together my go-to salad while the rest of the food cooks. I don't have feta cheese, which is a proper component to this salad, but it just calls for a head of romaine lettuce, some cucumber, love, it's so fresh and delicious. My kids like to stop there, but I enjoy a nice red onion in it. So I'll either cut them really big or I'll just leave them out on the side and I'll just add it in mine. But it's been a while since I made this. Sometimes I just cut up a cucumber for my kids as a salad. I know a thing is like cucumber and tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. I feel like my kids don't like tomatoes. Every time they try them, is what Wolfgang was the last one to try it and he was like gagging. Anyway, he was. I think he was expecting it to be a grape. Different flavors for sure, but that's how I feel when I eat tomatoes too. So if you like tomatoes, that's a thing, you like feta cheese. And then the kicker is, I don't know if I even have it, the Olive Garden Italian dressing. Oh no, I don't have it. And last time I was at Costco, I didn't buy it because I was like, oh, we, we'll live without it. We'll be fine. I'm gonna look in my pantry. I, mm, I don't even have Italian dressing. Oh man, you could just do old fashioned oil and vinegar. That's what I like. Well, bad news, I don't have any, but one of my aunts makes a homemade like dressing, if you will. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Oops, I was gonna put the whole salad in here. Ah, I already ruined a bowl, it's not big enough. So I'll just mix the dressing in here first, I guess. So a little bit of olive oil. I don't have much at all. I mean, I could restock it, but I'm not going to. And then red wine vinegar. Lots of seasonings, I think. I don't really know. She just pours it right on the salad. So I have herbs de Provence, Julia Child who. I also have some garlic and then a little bit of salt and pepper. And I think she normally does the powdered Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna mix this together first. And then I just have you know, fresh because that's how I live my life. So I'm gonna throw this, some of this in here. I might just put this on top of the salad too. That'll give it a nice salty flavor instead of the feta. That's good. Do I need Dijon? I think it'll be okay. Nice and simple side. Alex and I go to this restaurant that's local to us and oh my gosh, it has the best salad. I don't know what the dressing is, but I do know it's like a coconut base and holy cow, it makes me wanna cry, it's so good. That and their calamari is to die for. It's gonna mix everything together pretty good. Listen, we've been to a lot of places that have claimed to have the best calamari. They're incorrect. There is one place near us. We used to live in Italy, okay? The best calamari. It just happens to be right next to us. <laughs> right next to where we live. They have this garlic aioli sauce and that just tips it over the edge. Oh, my camera work here. Thank you, the stylings of Wolfgang. But their um their dressing i want to try to recreate that too or just buy it i don't know man it's so good but this dinner was amazing as well and i got my family's reaction a little bit here i just love this visual this moment this is every night we just eat dinner <laughs> they said it's bussin <laughs> yeah first bite first bite is yummy what what do you say, Dad? Boogering Queen Supreme. Two <laughs> <laughs> weekend project. Oh gosh. Also, what do we think about Alex's stash? Let me know. Yes or no? Yay, nay.
I think it should be encouraged. So here are my nails after, I don't know how many days it's been. Did I say five, six? Looking pretty good. My, this nail just broke actually. So I'm going to repaint them. And this is, don't judge me. Yes, I have M&Ms in my bathroom. That's how I live my life. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm needing to do something about this. Don't worry. I, I have a solution coming up. I just, um, it hasn't come in yet. Anyway, these are all the colors. I think maybe I'm gonna go bright flamingo pink here. I am i don't know, maybe I'll do purple again. This is what I have on my hands right now. Maybe I'll do a mauve -y color. So many options, you know? I know this probably isn't the right way to do it, but this is how I do it anyway. I just peel off the layer of nail polish. And once one starts to peel up, I just can't handle having it on there in much longer. I know the proper way to do it is to get like nail polish and like put on the tin foil and all that good stuff, but I don't know, this works for me. I think if I didn't peel it, and sometimes like I just painted my nails again and I kind of went over the edge with it, like onto my skin, and I feel like if I didn't do that, um, it wouldn't peel up right away. And it's, it's whatever, like a week for me essentially to have these on is more than enough time. I'm like happy about that. So yeah, I think they're great. And I know there's different ways to prep your nails and stuff. So I'm trying, I'm doing my best. I'm learning as I go and I'm happy with it. Well, it's a new day, but I figured we'd keep the party going. And um, I'm just gonna tidy up a few areas around my house just to make me feel like I have some things together. I recently went to the thrift store and got a bunch of clothes for Meredith because I realized uh, she has like one long sleeve shirt and one normal shirt that actually fits her, kind of. So while I was there, of course I couldn't contain myself. I got her like the cutest dress up outfit. Some of them are dirty. Some of them she already wore and like I left it at my brother's house, but this with a cape, this is Melissa and Doug. I just can't even believe the deals that you find at the thrift store. So needless to say, she has a mountain of clothes here. Like this is a Hannah Anderson dress. Isn't this the sweetest? And I got it for such a steal. And then, oh my gosh, okay, one last thing I'll share. Actually, one last thing. I just can't contain myself. This is Tiny Tribe. I feel like that's a good brand. I don't know, it was pricier. And then the seashells for the beach. As we live in Florida, this is Hannah Anderson too. I found so many gems, but this is a vintage gem. And I just couldn't pass it up. I wanted it in my size. So, oh, and a bunch of ballet stuff. So that's why I went, um, I got ballet stuff from the thrift store. And then of course I went yesterday to like the Once Upon a Child thrift store for some, some tap shoes here. Needless to say, she's busting at the seams. So I'm needing Oh, here are the hangers. So I'm needing to, you know, just put all her clothes away, hang them up. Uh, we, she helped me declutter her clothes. She wanted to keep a lot. And even when I was at the thrift store, I said, do you like this? Do you want this? Yes, 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 yes to everything. I was like, you are my daughter. To be fair, this stuff was really cute. So I'm just gonna hang it all up and get everything in order. I can't wait until she has a bigger closet because, oh, you can't see it. I have strategically placed the camera so you can't see the chaos above. But of course I'm always real with you. I'm gonna show you that. That is her dress up. Her bins of dress up and she loves them and she does dress up so often and I actually went to Ikea uh, I don't know, a while ago when I was there. I feel like I've been to Ikea more this year than ever in my life, but anyway, I bought this like, you know, thing and I thought, oh, how cute. Because of course I saw on Pinterest where they DIY'd it and made it into like a dress up command station. Why do I think that I'm capable of these things? And then, but it's only like $10. So I thought, oh, I can do it. But we're so close. I feel like we're so close to moving into the rooms. I don't want to set it up in here yet because then we're just going to move. And I don't know, part of me just says live in the moment and set it up. And then I went on Amazon and ah! Thing, like a dress up station 
And I thought, oh, maybe I'll get that, but I don't, you guys, I don't know. She does love dress up, so I'm gonna have to do something for, you know, when she moves into the bigger room that has an actual closet. I feel like I, just hanging her, the dress up up will be enough, but for now she only has this teeny tiny little wardrobe, but we make it work. <laughs> So I mentioned that I went to the thrift store last weekend with the little ones and it's always so fun seeing what they pick up. But then there's like moments where they'll say, oh, I need a, you know, clothing item. And I'm like, why didn't you? Or, hey, I picked out these things. Look at my cart online. I'm like, what? We were just at the thrift store. You could have found very similar items at the thrift store. So they get very hung up on all of the other stuff, all the fun, like artsy stuff that they have or, you know, just interesting things. And so they don't always look in the clothes unless I'm, you know, shoulder to shoulder with them sifting through it all. Um, so Meredith got essentially a brand new wardrobe. I mean, she is needing a few more pairs of pants. She's just growing so much. It's so wild. I look at her face and I'm like, you lo are looking like you're getting more mature. Isn't it wild just watching our kids grow up? Man, I look at baby pictures and really it's like if I'm looking at a baby picture and then a four-year-old, it's not like a baby. But if I'm looking at a baby picture and then a 13-year-old, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even. Just having that visual representation of time passing, I know, it just does something to my brain. It's very hard to comprehend. And I'm like, I'm also 13 years older and... Holy cow, what is life, you know? Oh, speaking of life, oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I have this amazing costume for Wolfgang. He's been, okay, so he had an obsession with turtles for the longest. And then once we started leaning into it and like singing the turtle song all the time, now every time I sing the turtle song, he screams at me like, hey, and I'm like, dude, I'm just singing the turtle song. We've sung it a million times before, but I'm not allowed to sing it anymore. If his sisters sing it, totally fine. So I got this turtle costume for him thinking he was going to love it. And he did for a few days. And now I think because I'm like, oh, Wolf, Wolfgang the turtle, he's not into it. So I think I think we pushed it on him a little too hard. But it was fun while it lasted, I suppose. But dress up is always fun regardless of what age you are. And really, I'm 30 something years old and I still semi play dress up. You know what I mean? Like. Who am I going to be today? Am I wearing sweats? Am I wearing some real pants and a jacket? <laughs> you know? So in a way, we're all just playing dress up. So I definitely encourage that. My, um, Wentworth has several drawers of dress up costumes and same with Meredith. And then the big girls still do it too, just to different degrees. So this dress, oh my gosh, what a gem. Meredith actually wore it. I thought this would be the perfect Easter dress after she wore it, but... She wore it, we were at a family um, dinner and she wore it and it was just so beautiful and I was watching her and I took a picture of her and I said, this is the most beautiful dress I think we've ever had. So hopefully the bottom got a, got a little wonky and it's a vintage dress too. So I just hope it lasts and I think she'll, she's going to wear it for Easter. I wish I could find it in my size. I'm going to have to Google something to see if I can find something similar, but I don't know. I don't really care. So I have moved on to cleaning. So this kind of turned into me tidying up the house. So Meredith's room needed a good tidy. And then I came to the living room. The, like this is what people first see when they walk in the house. Meredith's room off to the side, which will hopefully one day soon, <laughs> maybe this summer, will be an office. You guys, the addition is like right there. And I was actually thinking about it last night when I was going to bed. I was like, they only need to do this. Oh, and this. Oh, and this, 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 this. They didn't paint the inside closets, like the closets on the inside of the house. So it's like all the little things, right? Before the inspection gets finished. And the, one of the inspectors actually came out and there's like issues with that. I'm telling you, issues every step of the way, which is frustrating, but I know eventually it will be done. So I'm trying not to stress out about it. But anyway, that's that. And I'm putting the essential oils in. So nice. I just got the baby down for a nap. Oh my gosh, it takes me forever to like sneak away from him. So by the time I actually do, he's probably gonna be up in like five minutes. By the way, I don't think I ever showed you the finished nail color situation. I don't know how to show you nails. It's so awkward, but like the bright pink color, I'm vibing. Uh, I'm gonna tidy up this bathroom and then probably uh, the other bathroom too. I feel like, uh, 
on tonight, we normally have people come over and if I have the bathrooms clean, that's just like I'm one step ahead of the <laughs> ahead of the bad guys. One <laughs> ahead of the <laughs> I don't know the words. I steal only what I can afford, and that's everything. Four minutes, you people. Four minutes is the amount of time that I got uh, with two hands, so without a baby hanging off of me, okay? Uh, I will, what's the word I'm looking for? Relish those four minutes? Relish in? Revel? Hold on. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Pretty sure relish is the right word, but most of the time my brain doesn't function correctly, mostly due to sleep deprivation, so there's that. <laughs> Hi, I've read I've read so many things of how, you know, getting interrupted sleep is just not good. Oh, I'm just doing my best over here. I'm surviving, not thriving. One day I will be thriving, but that day is not today and we can't live in the future, right? So I'm just trying to do my best with what I can. And Wolfgang, oh my gosh, he's such a little punky brewster over here. He loves to spray stuff. So I'll give him like a little spray bottle, but he'll spray it on himself. I'm like, dude, you're spraying it. Like, isn't that uncomfortable? And he'll just sit there and just spray it. I'm like, so I'll lock it and then he'll get frustrated. So he loves helping me clean. He loves just grabbing a rag and just going to town. So I will enjoy those moments as they last while he helps me and I love his little bed head here it just makes me laugh so hard so his sweet oh he's so sweet and he can be so sour <laughs> but I've moved on to cleaning the girls bathroom just trying to tidy stuff up before we have guests over and you know I find most of the time unless they're here for hours on end or have small children they don't even really go in the bathroom uh, one of my family members who has been over my house many 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 times since we've moved in a couple of years ago and she recently went to the bathroom and she was like oh my gosh that's the first time I've <laughs> used the bathroom I was like that's the first time you say she mentioned something in the bathroom I was like that's the first time you've seen that like we've had it here I think it was a word search right she was like no nah, I think that's the first time I've used the bathroom I was like oh my gosh I use the bathroom everywhere I go maybe that's a me problem Maybe that's a bladder problem. I got a tiny tank. Maybe I just hydrate too much with my new hydration station happening. I am loving it. And actually, to give you an update, I tried the peach. What is it? It's um, liquid IV peach. It's something peach. Um, it's the sugar-free one. So good. Tried it this morning. You can't even tell it's sugar-free. It doesn't have like a weird aftertaste of like, mm, that's a funky like sugar alternative. Do you know what I mean? So highly recommend that if you're looking for a sugar-free uh, hydration drink like that. I do really like Element. I uh, Watermelon is my favorite, the watermelon salt. And I like those when I work out because they ha it has magnesium where um, the liquid IV, you know, it's just pros and cons to both. And then I haven't tried the chocolate collagen yet, but I'll let you know when we do. That's mostly for the kids. The kids also tried the probiotics. Um, like the drinkable ones and they're unflavored so you can just throw those in water and it's not a big deal and then of course my kids have been loving actually I'm surprised at how much they're loving the little hydration station that I put together because they're like yeah I can like I'm drinking more vitamin c now and I feel like I'm you know <laughs> my immune system is boosted right the lies that we tell ourselves I don't know does that stuff actually work is it all in our head is it a, a placebo effect am I getting all the probiotics you know, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but I don't think it hurts, right? Anyway, so I'm cleaning the toilet clearly. This is the, I didn't clean the floor. Wait, I did clean the floors. I just didn't film it. I cleaned the floors later that day, the whole house, and I actually cleaned out, which is the bane of my existence. Oh, there was a dragonfly in here. Did I tell you about that? There was a dragonfly. So we had the doors open the day before, and I thought, oh, the dragonfly got out. So I closed the door. Nope, dragonfly died on the bath mat. <laughs> so I was just shaking them out, bring them in nature. I sang a little uh, bagpipes out of my mouth, you know. I did my best to give him a proper goodbye. But anyway, Wolfgang's literally favorite thing to do is clean the toilets. Okay, it's so gross. But also, it's fine. He's helping out. And uh, what was I saying? The bane of my existence. I forgot. What is the bane of my existence? There are so many. 
you know what it is? The Bissell cross wave. When I'm done with it, I don't always fully wash it. Like I'll rinse it out and I'll dump the container, which is like so gross. It always smells like a dumpster. But this time around while I was mopping, I was like, okay, it smells kind of rank. So I knew I needed to deal with the spinny head. Oh my gosh, 500 pounds of hair wrapped up in there. So I finally, what's on my pants? I don't know. Yogurt. That's just my life. But I finally like cut it all off. I was, you know, pulling it. So now it's all fresh and so clean for the next time that I use it. But I love the Bissell Crosswave. It like sweeps, vacuums, mops all in one. And um, yeah, I really enjoy it. And I put in the, what did I get? You saw the fragrance thing. This is the only bathroom that I put it in because for whatever reason, it's just like, it's the guest bathroom and it kind of always smells weird if I don't clean it. I feel like I clean this more than any other space in the house, but somehow it still kind of smells rank. So I put in, they were having a sale at Bed Bath and Body Works. And so I bought a few of the wallflowers and I put in like peach something. It smells delightful. It smells great. So my house is feeling nice and fresh. So I hope I gave you some motivation today to, I don't know, get something done around your house. Or maybe I just gave you some friendship along the way. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.